That's Malala Yusuf Sai. She's just 16 years old, declaring there that not even the Taliban bullet will stop her or stop her campaign for education for girls. In fact, she said, instead of silencing me, millions of girls are now speaking up, demanding access to education under the banner of the campaign, I am Malala. Malala Yousafzai was awarded the EU Human Rights Annual Prize and she is definitely one of the front runners to win the Nobel Peace Prize awarded in Oslo. <laughs> Talking Point with Fran Kelly. United Story with Radio Australia. People of West Papua are much better off as part of a strong, dynamic, uh, and increasingly prosperous Indonesia. Radio Australia News. And Indonesia have expressed their concerns about our turn back to boat policy and Australia should be able to raise our concerns with human right abuses that are occurring in West Papua. Pacific Beach. Protest is planned and were threatened with arrest while calling for the release of Papuan political prisoners. Asia Pacific. Three Papuan activists scale the walls of the compound on Sunday to issue an open letter to the regional leaders and the talks. Radioaustralia.net.au. It was obviously time to coincide with the APEC meeting in Bali. Is that fair for me to say? Yeah. Australia will not give people a platform to grandstand against Indonesia. Know this story with Radio Australia. Malaria. What is it? Where is it most common? Are there different types? How is it transmitted? How do you know if you have it? These and other important questions are answered at Malaria Fast Back. Now available at radioaustralia.net.au. Malaria is preventable and treatable. Malaria Fast Back at radioaustralia.net.au. The Yarni down in Hobart with tales from Tassie Shore. Old timers full of anecdotes. Hello, Marutador. The cockatoos are screeching. They can't get on the line. The air is sharp as scissors and lofty gindervine. The white old land is stirring. The high rise city wakes. The pelicans are flying across the southern lakes. So boil a friendly billy. Advance, Australia fair. And welcome Sunday morning when Macca's on the air. There's a radio show for the bloke that you know. And he shakes it just like a maraca. He tells stories so grand of this past time this land. And they call it... Sunday with Mac. Well, I just had some fruit from Shannon the other morning, and that's lovely stuff. It's great to see Australian fruit in the supermarket. It's got Australian grown peaches sliced on the on the thing in big letters, which must mean that they know that people want to buy Australian things. I think there's been a fair amount of pressure put on the supermarkets to have Australian fruit <laughs> in the cans and on the shelf. So there's the big supermarkets are there to sort of the town. That's what the that's where the pressure's coming from. And that's why it ought to be. And it now exactly. um, meant that, um, meant that um, SBC, uh, Vader, is going to uh, ask some of the growers to supply a little bit more, but it's only a little bit more. But, uh, it's all a big help. Yes, exactly. Next Sunday afternoon at Longreach, a statue, a beautiful 